First of all, I wish you a very happy Children's Day. We have every reason to celebrate the Children's Day. Because you are the future of our nation and also of the world. We celebrate Children's Day in connection with the birth of our former and gallant Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Jawaharlal Nehru was very fond of children because he knew who children were. We can always be proud of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India. He was renowned not only in India but also by the whole world. Children always have a model in Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to be a lover of the nation and lover of humanity and lover of progress. Children are the incarnation of purity, of goodness, of dependence, of faith and of humility. Jesus Christ once told, let the little children come to me. No one should block them from coming to me because kingdom of God is for those who are like children. Which means you have to adopt the qualities of children, of dependence, of humility, of trust, of holiness, of other purity. These qualities must be imbibed by each one of us to be heirs of the kingdom of God. India is a country which is fast developing in every aspect of human life. This morning I read in a paper that by 2050 India will be the highly populated country in the world. Which means we will be having the highest human power in the world. Some may look from a different angle thinking that we will be overpopulated and we will be devoid of materials necessary for human existence. But I look from another angle. Human power is the greatest power or resource of a country. And if you have human resource, you can achieve every other thing. There are countries in the world which lack human resource and they will be in a very difficult position in the near future. But fortunately for us, we have children, we have young mind and we have young people who can contribute greatly for the betterment and advancement of this country. Children carry with them a lot of possibilities. A lot of possibilities. The whole world is recognizing the human potentiality of India and the children have the potentiality and they have to grow it and for that the elders have a responsibility to provide them all possible facility for them to grow grow not only physically but spiritually and psychologically many a time when we speak of empowerment of nourishment or advancement we only think of material advancement but I would say material advancement alone will not suffice we need spiritual advancement we have to know the meaning of life we have to know our responsibilities unless you know the responsibilities the meaning of life we will not lead a successful life Many a time I get a feeling that education has to liberate people, has to make human beings mature and perfect. But sometimes I get the feeling that those who are having higher educations sometimes become part of terrorism or antisocial elements, which shows that mere education 
Maybe partial education is not the solution for human advancement. We need a holistic approach for education. We have to educate their body, their mind, their intellect, the imagination, their spirit, everything. We have to grow in the age-old values of Indian ethos, that of faith in God, love for the nation, respect for elders, respect for human life, respect for others, and also a sense of discipline constantly imbibed in the character. Unless you have discipline, unless you have patriotism, unless you have respect for your parents, unless you have respect for your neighbor, you will never be an Indian citizen. Therefore, children have to be brought up in these values only when they will be mature persons. I call upon all those who are responsible for education and all those who are in charge of children to have these points in their minds and give the formation to the children in the right way possible. And to you children, I wish to tell you that you have great possibility. You must be fortunate to be born in the country, India, which is a very, very famous country, I would say, and you are given all possible facilities to grow uh, mentally, psychologically and spiritually. Ours is a country which is very spiritual. You have to imbibe those values. And to quote the former president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, you must dream and should have the patience to expand your dream, expand your imaginations and see that you can achieve even the impossible which is possible by God's grace and by your constant effort. Once again, I wish you a very happy and uh, fruitful Children's Day and may God bless you to be patriotic and uh, worthy children of India.